Hello again, class. So what we'll do is we'll continue on with the last example. So remember we were dealing with binary. And we were looking at hexadecimal and also looking at the octal number systems. So in this case, we'll simply write down the octal alphabet in binary. So you should know this from the last one, but it's simply three bits for each character. So 0, 0, 0. And we keep adding a 1 in the exact same process that you would have seen in the last one. And we should end up with 8 elements. So we count them, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 characters means that we have our full alphabet for the octal number system. Okay, so this is the full binary representation for octal alphabet. Which means each of these elements represents the octal number. Three bits. So in the last one we would have said that octal has eight elements, which is equivalent or equal to two to the power of three, where this tree represents the number of bits for each element from the alphabet. So if we take any kind of octal number, for example, we take 1, 6, so just like we had the 16 the last time, but this time it's 16 base 8. Well, the process is quite similar. We break this down to two different numbers. So we have 1 and 6. We now look up the table, so we have 0, 1. So for 1, we should have 0, 0, 1. And we just convert this, 0, 0, 1. For 6, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we've got 1, 1, 0. And then we simply join these back up together. Removing the least significant digits, we come out with 1, 1, 1, 0. Or sorry, not the least significant, the insignificant digits. So, again, the process is quite simple, yeah? So we have our number, we break it down into two individual characters or elements, we read off from our binary table, there are two component bits, which is three binary digit bits for each element of the octal number. We join them up, removing the two zeros. And what that simply means if I was to give you one euro, well, it's the exact same thing as saying you can have zero, 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 one. Now, it wouldn't be the same as saying as having one, zero, 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 zero. So we can just simply remove these insignificant bits as these two are the same, just the way we did it down here. The zeros and zeros they don't really mean anything. So. If you think about it, so we went from our octal number into a binary number. So if we want to move back the other way and say binary into an octal number, we simply count up, we say 1, 2, 3, 4, we 4 bits, so 4 isn't evenly divisible by 3. So we need to add 2 bits into the front of that. So we take 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements. Now we break these into their individual components. We take 0, 0, 1, which will give us a 1, simply from up here, 0, 0, 1. And then we look at 1, 1, 0. So 1, 1, 0 is here. So we can say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which gives us back the 1, 1, 0. So 1, 1, 0 goes to 1, and then 6 for the 1, 1, 0. We join those back up again, we have 16 base 8, which is exactly what we started off with at the start. So we're all happy, so we'll draw our little happy face.